Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here. I had some time today, I've got some time off, so I wanted to do some additional readings today. So um, I put up a sort of a brief star sign on what's next. I want to see what goes and what doesn't. I particularly love looking at, you know, the different readings people put up um, and see which ones really sort of like resonate or fun to watch. Um, and which sort of people can get short amount of information from. So what I thought I'd do here is I'm going to do love readings by element. So this is specifically a love reading for the element of air, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. So if this reading um, resonates with you, make sure you put a thumbs up um, so other people can gain the benefit of that. If it doesn't resonate with you, then move on to one of the other aspects of your chart. If you don't know what how to do that, you can do it through Cafe Astrology or Astrolaba. One of those will have a birth chart that you can follow. So this one here, though, is for the signs of Aquarius, Gemini and Libra. And they're just little mini reads. They're not going to be long, but I thought it might be fun to just have a look at where everyone's up to in their love life. Okay, so the Six of Pentacles is coming out. So that says to me that either you're having a lesson around give and take or you're learning how to give and take in your relationships. This can be, um, you know, having come through a period of time where perhaps you've been investing a lot in somebody that hasn't been giving back what you wanted. Um, but it's definitely about learning that this is the, oh yeah, you've definitely, so you've walked away, some of you have walked away from something because it wasn't giving you, you might have walked away from a water sign, wasn't giving you the love you needed here. Um, and you're learning about the equal give and take. Yeah, you're looking out towards the future, trying to bring something new in here. Um, you may have walked away from a relationship, but you've walked away from a situation that was not serving you. You are seeing this Queen of Cups here, what you really do deserve, and you are standing in your power here. But this is about learning about the give and take in relationships. Okay, so what I want to say here is for Aquarius, you must remember that you are able to manifest what it is in your life you want. You have the magician here. So what that says to me is that you are able, you have all the tools you need. So what you want is in front of you, but maybe there's some learning here and now you've learned the lesson, you can move forward with that lesson and bring in what you want. Um, perhaps in the past, you haven't been able to understand your own value um, or haven't really um, thought that you were important in a relationship. So you've invested in the other person and the magician who is the master manifester here is to is coming in to say that. What you want, you can have, but you just have to move forward with what you've learned because you now have those tools and you can manifest exactly what you want into your life. Gemini, you have the Page of Swords. So someone is coming in here to tell you a truth or you need to tell someone else the truth. Um, there's something here that needs to be said that's sort of not being um, expressed by either you or the other person. Um, you could be dealing with another air sign, but I feel strongly this is you. Um, you know you have to express this, but you're not doing so. Now, the other thing is, too, with the Page of Swords, it can talk about keeping an eye on someone. So maybe you've been watching someone over the Internet that you have strong feelings for and you're just trying to find a way to express yourself. Be in the readings flip-flop, it could be the other person. Libra, I have the Hierophant for you. So this tells me that what you want more than anything in your life is stability. You are looking for something that is long term, something solid um, that will take you through. And you're just not wanting anything too frivolous or fancy at the moment. It's like you want the real deal. So this is what you're going after in your life at the moment, Libra. Looking for something that is far more, um, far more suitable for what you want here. Aquarius, you really need to be very cautious about not doubting your own mind here. 
Um, I feel like sometimes you may be a little bit of your worst enemy um, and not trusting what you're able to do and how you're able to manifest. So what this says to me with this five of wands is sometimes you you, you conflict with your own thoughts and thinking. So it's like you, um, you doubt, you doubt yourself too much. You don't believe in yourself. And here you are as the magician, which means to me that you have to understand how capable you really are. But with this five of wands here, sometimes you put yourself in this doubt. So if you want something really serious with someone, don't doubt yourself. Okay, Gemini, this person that you are thinking about or wanting to speak to wants to build with you too. Um, they are very keen to have something with you. So speaking up and telling them how you feel, I feel that it's going to be reciprocated. So if someone comes to you, I know that you are possibly feeling the same way about them. Both of you want to build on something here. Both of you see a future. It's just going to take a conversation to break the ice here. Libra, okay, you want stability quite possibly with a Leo, Sag or Aries. Um, this person is very attractive to you or you're very attracted to them. Um, I don't think that you're going to want to deal with a fiery sort of short term thing. You're wanting this wand here. You want the, the brand new start and something long term. Don't give up on it. it is coming in for you. There's definitely stability here with someone who you are very attracted to, quite possibly in love with. So that's the air signs. Thanks, guys.